After 17 years, I worked for the same company as an executive assistant. I recently just started my job search. Um, as you know, we are living in a virtual world. How do you suggest I stand out and showcase my best self virtually? Well, the problem today is almost all the interviewing is done online, which is a, it's a curse for everybody who's applying for a job. I think, number one, you have to have the right spot. You have to designate a quiet interview spot. And it doesn't need a lot. It needs a plain background, and it needs a desktop or a tabletop, just so people see you in a work position on their first impression. You also have to dress sharp for the position you're applying to. Think of, I got the job, what would I wear to work, and dress in that outfit right away. You have to look up the employer online. And most employees skip this, and it's crazy. You look up the company online, you learn a few things about it, because it gives you conversational points as to how you tie into that business. If it makes you comfortable and makes the interview so much more natural. I hear you open an office in Phoenix. I hear you going to this new space. I'm so excited about it. It's very flattering to an employer to know that you've actually checked them out. And then you must practice the three most frequently asked questions that are asked in every interview. There's actually a series of 10. You should know them, but the top three that you should practice in front of a video camera with the light, with the right light so you look good and the first is tell me about yourself isn't that a lovely question well it's a terrible question it's a trick one what what the employer is looking to do is get a read on your personality so that you should make sure that every fact you quickly give about your life ties into the position so not i've lived in milwaukee with my family for five years but i've lived in milwaukee with my family for five years and we have the most meticulous house in town little add-on but, ooh, this lady's organized. It's an opportunity to sell yourself. So you have to be short, but tie your answers into some aspect that you suspect is going to be needed in the job. Number two, oh, yeah. the second question is, what are your greatest strengths? Lie, exaggerate. Yeah, you know, just be reasonable. But if you think you're organized, say you're very organized. If you think you get along with people, say I always get along with people. It's a time to shine. And that's what people really want to hear. And then the second part of that question, please tell me your biggest weaknesses. And that's when you definitely lie. Name a harmless weakness. Like, oh, I can be really particular about detail. Oh, that's not so bad. And three, why do you want this job? And you know why you want every job is because you want to work for that company. That's the safe answer. I really want to work for your company because I understand everybody here loves the work environment. I understand that people really enjoy each other, the sense of fair play, people get promoted and rattle off their own vanity mirror right back at them. Because even yes. as why do you want the job, you want to tie yourself to why you're suitable for them. That's the only valid answer. And again, I repeat for you, Portia, do it in front of a camera. So you get so comfortable with the camera. And the camera I saw you on, by the way, your camera wasn't high enough. You'd look 10 years younger if you shot down and you need professional lighting that you'd get a circle light for about 25 bucks. And you should practice again and again in front of that camera to make you feel like you're in a real interview. Otherwise, you're going to come across stiff and not hireable. So I, I hope that that helps, Portia. I, I think that is such great advice. And I love that it's all about mirroring, mirroring your prospective employer with positive attitude, information that you've studied about, and giving, blanketing them with how you can be helpful to them. I, I, it's just great advice, just great advice. Uh, I will miss you until I see you next. I love speaking with you. Thank you for making time with us, as always. Um, you know, the season premiere of Shark Tank is tonight. And as we were talking about earlier, this is such a special time because these people have literally put it all on the line, including their savings, their own money out of their pocket to come to the table in the hardest time for independent and small business people and say, yes, I am here and I want to swim with the sharks. I don't know how better to sell it than that. And of course, uh, Barbara has uh, Business Unusual, Shark Tank is on ABC, of course. In Business Unusual, you can still get their 888 Barbara, yes? Yes, of course, but don't miss the opening of Shark Tank. It's going to blow you away. Uh, really? You always blow me away. Thank you for making time on such a busy day for, for yourself and your family. I really appreciate you. Always welcome. Thank you. It's really nice having you with you. <laughs>